Arcanobacterium hemolyticum, Wikipedia article audio. Arcanobacterium hemolyticum, formerly known as Coronibacterium hemolyticum, is a species of bacteria classified as a gram-positive bacillus. It is catalase-negative, aerobic, beta-hemolytic, and not modal. It is part of the normal flora of the pharynx, but it may sometimes cause head and neck infections, pharyngitis, and sinusitis. It was first described by MacLean ETAL in 1946 from U.S. servicemen and peoples of the South Pacific suffering from sore throat. Due to its resemblance to another genus of bacteria, Coronibacterium, a hemolyticum was initially classified as C. pyogenes subspecies hominis. It was known for several decades as Coronibacterium hemolyticum. Controversies regarding classification were resolved in 1982 when a new genus, Arcanobacterium, was created by Collins ETAL to reclassify Coronibacterium hemolyticum on the basis of its peptidoglycan, fatty acid, and DNA characteristics. History Detection Since its initial description, the spectrum of diseases caused by a hemolyticum has been expanded to include sepsis and osteomyelitis. Organisms are gram-positive, facultative anaerobic, catalase-negative rods with arrangements described as matchbox or Chinese letters arrangements. Growth is enhanced in blood and by carbon dioxide. Hemolysis is detected on human blood agar plates, and routine plating of specimens suspected of containing a hemolyticum on human blood agar is suggested to distinguish it from Streptococcus pyogenes, as a hemolyticum can easily be confused with this organism. Microscopic morphology differences can be used to differentiate them, since Arcanobacterium is rod-shaped and Streptococcus is caucus-shaped. A hemolyticum infection is most common in 15 to 25 year old persons and manifests as exudative pharyngitis and slash or tonsillitis accompanied by cervical lymphadenopathy. Symptoms look like those of beta hemolytic streptococci or viral infection. A rash of the chest and of the abdomen, neck, or extremities is seen in 20% to 25% of cases enhancing the risk of diagnostic error as streptococcal infection or penicillin allergy, when beta-lactam therapy is initiated without exact diagnosis. A hemolyticum often occurs in polymicrobic infections together with typical respiratory pathogens such as streptococci. The isolation of classical pathogens from specimens that also contain a hemolyticum might be in part responsible for the tendency to miss the organism. A hemolyticum is the cause of pharyngitis in up to 2.5% of cases. In one study, it was the causative agent of pharyngitis in 1.4% of military conscripts. It is rarely found in the skin or throat of healthy people, meaning it is not a member of the usual bacterial flora. Pathology Little is known about the means by which a hemolyticum causes infection or the associated skin manifestations. The organism is known to produce uncharacterized hemolytic agent, a neuraminidase, and a phospholipase D acting preferentially on sphingomyelin. PLD is known to result in tissue damage, but the role and disease of the cytotoxic effect caused by this extracellular toxin is not established. Pyothorax has been reported. Treatment A hemolyticum isolated from humans is susceptible to erythromycin, clindamycin, gentamicin, and cephalosporins. The use of parenteral antimicrobial drugs must be limited to serious infections.